All right, so welcome to this video. In this video, you will learn about deploying instances. So Microsoft Dynamics 365 deployment, and we'll look at the different instances available and also how can you manage instances, right? So let's start with that. So first, let's understand instances. So an instance is simply a Microsoft Dynamics 365 database. So if you have installed and if you have worked with Dynamics CRM on-premise version, then when you install Dynamics CRM, you have a database created in SQL Server, right? And all the objects, everything and data is stored in that database. So instance is simply that Microsoft Dynamics database, right? So when you register for a Dynamics 365 instance or if you purchase a new instance you literally get a new database where all the storage will be done as well as the objects will be stored right so in simple words instance is a Microsoft Dynamics 365 database and each instance has its own SQL Server database, which is independent. So for example, if you have two instances in Dynamics 365, then both will have their own SQL Server databases, which will have their own data as well as their own objects. Maybe the customizations in each instance can be different, right? As I said, two instances can have same or different functionalities which is the data set. So for example, for one instance, you may have customized account entity, right? And in the another instance, you may not have customized the account entity, right? So that can happen. It is possible. So that's why you just need to understand that both instances, like two or more instances, they are independent of each other, right? Okay, so now let's look at the important uses of instances. So mainly an instance can be used either as a production or sandbox. So sandbox is something which is like you want to do it for testing, for UAT, for training. And production is where you, the team execute their day-to-day -day operations, right? So let's see that. So first one is production, where the team is entering the day-to-day -day transactions that they have in Dynamics 365. The next one is UAT, which is nothing but a part of sandbox. Okay, so any instance which is used for UAT is considered as sandbox instance. Okay, so here the customer does the testing of the application before applying it to the production. So whatever you have developed or configured as per customer requirements, the customer is going to verify and test in this UAT session or instance right then the next is a development so sandbox instance can also be used as a development uh, purpose and then the production where you can have multiple organizations or departments right so for organization who have like multiple locations multiple offices or if they want to maintain department wise then they can have multiple instances of production right so it's possible to manage multiple instances within the same tenant so tenant is a subscription that you take and under that you can take multiple instances, right? So this is a little bit about instances. Let's move to the production instance and let's understand this in detail. So the first thing is it's used for day-to-day -day live business transactions where the team is busy putting in the transactions and getting reports from the system, okay? So it means it is used for, to carry day-to-day -day live business transactions. Plus there is no R&D or development is done on the production instance. That's very important, right? It's because it's just used for business operations, not for any R&D or uh, development, right? And only the authorized users are allowed to use production instance. So you may have multiple users, but only the people who have roles assigned and they want to use the application for uh, carrying their day-to-day -day business like business operations or business transactions only those users will have access and it is important to note that production instance cannot be reset we'll talk about the sandbox or as well which can be reset but production instance cannot be reset okay so this was about the production instance. let's talk about the sandbox so the sandbox is also known as non-production so whatever activities you're doing other than the production purpose is called sandbox right so it's used for either development or customizations of the new functionalities uh, also used for user acceptance test where the customer is testing the functionalities that you as a consultant has built and it is also used for testing purpose where the development team completes their development and then there is a system testing team who tests the 
developments as per the FRD or de detailed design document, right? So testing is done by the team in the sandbox instance only. It is also used for training, right? In case if you want to train your internal users or if you want to train clients and you want to give them access so that they can practice and learn about Dynamics 365, which is also a non-production or sandbox instance because when they are doing training, they will try out new things. It cannot be done on production, right? So the sandbox instance can also be used for training purpose. It is also used for the demo purpose. Like for example, you as a consultant and you are associated with the Microsoft partner and you want to give demo to a client, a prospect, right? So you can use sandbox instance and sandbox instance. You can reset that and you can configure the application as per the customer's demo requirements and you can give it the demo right so as i explained earlier like production cannot be reset but sandbox can be reset which deletes all their data and refreshes the instance so whatever the initial stage was there when the instance was created it will reset to the same original instance right so this is all about sandbox i'm sure you got the idea that production is used for the live business transactions and whatever other activities you have you do it in sandbox okay so let's see how you can get instances in dynamics 365 so when you have the trial subscription you get only one instance so when you register for the 30 days trial of course you will get only one instance now you cannot purchase new instances as add-ons in the trial subscription okay because you ju you're just trying that and uh, you can have one instance only either it can you can use it as a production you can use it as the sandbox right only one instance you will have whereas in the paid subscription you get two instances one production and one sandbox right and additional instances can be purchased as add-ons in paid subscription and it is recommended that you should have at least one production instance and two sandbox instances okay because in this case you might want to use one for development the other for testing or other for uat and training so it depends on your project nature you might want to use sandbox for different purpose but you should have at least two sandboxes and one production instance right so let's explore the instances and their properties all right so here i am in office 365 admin center where i'll just click on admin okay and here you can see that we are in admin so here we'll go to admin centers and click on dynamics 365 it is going to open dynamics 365 admin center now here you can find all the instances that you have for dynamics 365 so currently i have only one instance and it is used for production as you can see because i am not in the paid subscription i cannot purchase new instances okay it's trial so i can open the dynamics 365 from here i can add it some changes i can put the notifications here and you can also add the purpose of the this instance and also it shows that what are the solutions that has been uh, configured and installed on this instance right so what you can do you can you can click on edit if you want to change the instance type you can just click on edit of the instance and here you can change the name okay unique entity um, the url also you can change it here but make sure that the url is present also you can define that what is the purpose of this so do you want to use it for development for testing or for production okay you can define it here it's not a mandatory field but it's good to have when you have multiple instances running right so that it's easy for you to determine uh, then next is instance type so instance type either you can have it production or you can have it sandbox as you are in trial i'm currently in trial i can either choose to be in production or in sandbox okay and then we have security groups in case if you want to change the security group and assign the security group to the users so this is something is in the general settings so let me just change it to sandbox so i'll just click on sandbox and click next and it asked me to review the changes so the instance is going to be sandbox i can i can just go back and i can make some changes like okay i can just click next and here you can see the name the url the purpose and the sandbox type i can just click save 
and here you can see that it is now in sandbox so in sandbox you have multiple options you can edit it to make it make changes to the properties of the of the sandbox instance you can also change it to production under under edit you can also click on reset to remove all the data remove all the customizations that you have done and it will make it to the original one then also you can delete the instance by clicking here and also you have admin here so let's click on admin and here you can enable administrative mode so when you enable administrative mode only the system administrator and customization uh, system customizer security role users will be able to access okay so if i enable it no other user will be able to sign in okay so that's maybe an important point you want to note that if you want only administrator or customizers should be able to log in to the instance then you can enable this administration mode okay and save it if you want that all the other users should be able to log in you can just uncheck that and click save okay so this is about the administration uh, you can also define the notifications here so you can just click on notifications and notifications for dynamics 365 admin so notifications you get when you have any new updates coming in if there are any issues with the uh, with the instance or is there any updates that are coming in you want to schedule it right so those things are defined here like the administrators get the notifications but if you want that some other people should also get notification you you can put the email address of the additional recipients separated by a semicolon right and you can just save it right so this is how you can enable the sandbox and again you have solutions so solutions you can click on edit and here you can see all the solutions that are available in Dynamics 365, right? And here you can select and see that which one is installed. So customer service hub is installed, customer service application is installed, others are not installed except the sales application, right? So you can always uh, enable, you can always install these things and test within Dynamics 365. So to install, you can just click on edit and click on install okay so it is going to install this particular solution and the functionalities and features will be enabled in dynamics 365 right so similarly you can use it and when you try to access the sandbox instance you will see the dynamics 365 on the top side you will find the name as sandbox so that you know that you're working in sandbox and in case if i change it i'll go back to edit and I'll change it to production. I will remove this in purpose. Click next and save it. And here it is. So production is available now. I can just click on open. It might take some time to refresh. So we'll just wait for a few seconds. Okay, it may take some more time to change the instance. So maybe the changes are still propagating, right? So this way you can uh, change the instances, you can edit the instances, the properties of the instances, URL of the instances, and also you can enable notifications, right? So, and you can add new solutions as well, right? And other tabs we have is like updates. So currently you can see the production, there is no update available as a status, you can see and there is no updates available so when the new, new updates come which microsoft release twice a year um, you can choose to upgrade your dynamics to a version you can also see the service health uh, what are the production how many instances are there and what is their service health is it working fine or are there any issues you can see here you can also do the backup and restore of instances so you can take the backup uh, and you can also restore it so every day the backup is taken and if you want to restore some you can just select and restore it manually also you can backup and you can also enable you can just give it a label you can give notes and you can create the backup those backups you can restore as well right and also you have something called applications where you can see that what are the applications that are installed and enabled in dynamics 365 instance right so these are the different options available in administration and let's see if it is changed okay it's still
okay so it may take some more time so you might want to wait for a couple of more minutes before it can um, remove that sandbox and and just show the black one right so this is how you can manage instances and uh, you can change the properties of the instances and uh, that's it thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video tutorial